So what's going on with you guys? There's been a whole bunch of controversy going around with Microsoft and their layoffs after the Activision Blizzard merger, which people getting laid off of their jobs is always a bad thing. Like nobody likes being laid off of the jobs, especially pertaining to uh, jobs that they actually love, like, you know, making video games for people and everything else, right? These, mer these firings was going to be coming regardless because... There have been a huge load of people being cut off from the gaming industry. And not just, not just the gaming industry is, uh, itself. Because there have been most people last year from all over. Would have been attained to uh, media, attained to TV and movies. And even a whole bunch of freaking people in the journalist industry. A lot of people have been facing a whole bunch of layoffs. And you got people on social media saying this is the end of triple a gaming this is the i mean this is the end of gaming as we know it microsoft is killing gaming um what's going to happen now with all these people being laid off of microsoft even though there are still technically people there are still there was twenty two thousand people right working under microsoft and that division and they was only cutting off literally eight percent of their people not a huge margin not a huge margin but a lot of people want to say this is the end as we know it microsoft is a devil company microsoft is an evil corporation for laying off this many people when i here's a question that i got for people I, i'm not here trying to defend microsoft you know microsoft what the hell ever how was there so many positions in the first place when we take the Activision, because there have been a huge, there was a huge news outlet that came out that said there was over 3,000 people that was working on Call of Duty, says Activision themselves. 3,000 devs that was working on Call of Duty, one game alone, while you had games like Power World that was literally only worked on by 26 people, I believe. And even other, even games like Elder Ring, that had 500 devs, and that game was a world-class hit. Game of the year. This is Here's the question that I posed to a lot of people. Was Activision Blizzard, was Activision Blizzard doing too much hiring? Was there a over, a overage of people working for Activision? Because it, it surely seems that way. And not to mention these jobs, there are a lot of jobs, the jobs that are being cut off from Microsoft, when it changed to Activision Blizzard, because the main people who are being fired, who are being laid off, is from from uh, Activision Blizzard. It's the fact that a lot of these jobs are overlap jobs because they don't want to pay two people for the same jobs when they could just, you know, have one person. I mean, it's, it saves it saves money, it saves uh, on a budget. Yeah, a lot of people would say, well, Microsoft is a is a multi trillion dollar company, so they ha they should have no problem with with paying these people. Uh, you know, any any amounts of money. That's not the point that a lot of people that should be making. It's actually a bad point for running the business. Okay, people have to see this from a business point of view instead of like just think like just thinking about people's feelings. Cause yeah, it sucks that people have got laid off from the jobs. Being laid off is not a good feeling. Being fired from your job that, that you claim that you love is not a good feeling. It's also the fact that people don't actually think like you know these people who who had got laid off are gonna be finding any jobs anytime soon. Because there are a there's a huge way for people in the gaming industry to make loads of money, whether they be independent or whether they work for another uh, gaming development company. They are not going going to just be out of a job for years and years and years. There's, they are either going to be working on their own games or you know banding together for their own games. Because people who have stopped working for these AAA companies, they have went for towards working on their own games, put them on Steam, and then made a huge success out of it. Some people failed. Some people have seen tremendous success out of it. I'm glad, I'm glad that that actually happened, right? People should be looking at into that mentality. But 3,000 devs was working on Call of Duty alone, just from whether it be from Black Ops 2 and, yeah, I'm sorry, My Warfare 2 and My Warfare 3. 3,000 devs was working on Call of Duty. That is, her, that is a lot of people for just one game. Now, is it the in the world for AAA gaming as we, uh, you know, know it? No, because 
out of those three awesome devs, Activision could have had a whole bunch of other, those devs work on other games because this was the list of games that came out for the past four years. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Modern Warfare 2, Warzone, Black Ops Crash Bandicoot 4, which a lot of people love, uh, Black Ops Cold War, which it's not really a good game. Black Ops 4 is, I mean, Call of Duty, uh, Crash Bandicoot 4, I'm sorry. It's about time. Good. A lot of people enjoyed this game. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, good game. Vanguard. My Warfare 2, Warzone 2.0, Crash Team Rumble, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, which is coming out this year. These are the games that, that has been coming out for the past four years. And 3,000 devs looking on Call of Duty themselves. Why did this game, why did those games itself need like 3,000 devs when they could have been working on them? They could have been working on new IPs or working on. Some, I, some old IPs and remastering them. That's where the question lies. 3,000 devs for one game. If that's not a lack of using your talent, I don't know what it is. 3,000 devs. But guys, this is correct. A lot of people are using this as a means to try to uh, console war. Say like, see, anything Microsoft touches is bad. When everybody knew that these firings were going to be coming. And some people who have got laid up, they, they said, like, yo, they're not angry at Xbox or Microsoft for laying them off because they knew it was coming. They just didn't know it was going to be them. They're trying to stay, they're staying professional in this whole ordeal. But there are people on social media, whether it be Twitter or Facebook, that says Microsoft is hurting people in, the, in a wide variety of ways. And those same devs that got laid off and say like yo we're not we're disappointed yes but we're not pissed off because we know it's just business individuals need to think about this in a in a not so crazy way where they could just trash a whole a whole company for laying out people that knew the layoffs was going to be coming people didn't just didn't expect it to be 1900 people now like i said 3,000 people was working on call of duty alone they could have been working on a wide variety of new IPs instead of just having 3,000 people work on Call of Duty themselves. Now, it's not as, I mean, it's bad people got laid off. But it's not the end of the world here. Because those people, those devs are looking are looking for a new lines of work. Microsoft is paying them compensation fees to until they get back on their feet. Which, you know, a evil corporation evil corporation would not be would not do that. You know? But the fact is, a lot of people want to try to uh, use this as some sort of co uh, console war thing. Like, apparently, the Red Dragon that has used this used this firing to say, like, people are pissed off about it. And here's, here, here, right here, the Red Dragon, right? You had the Red Dragon use this, this dev that got released to say... This is what Xbox High High Moon Studio level designer blast Matt Booty and Phil Spencer for being responsible for layoffs. Ask Phil if he will be paying for her match that's keeping her to, keeping her alive. Says will impact games and lead to less content despite suits claiming opposite. Hashtag Xbox. Hashtag Microsoft. And here we have that same dev come out and say, not entirely sure why I'm now the poster child for Xbox bad. I love Xbox. And I love Activision still. I'm mostly frustrated that the C suit types can sleep well tonight while I have two severe, uh, severe heart conditions. And I'm scared for what's coming. That's all. I like that you're using my tweets out of fear for my literal life as getting a new job in the industry is not next to impossible right now. And severance only lasts so long. And you hit my reply. Guys, people are console warring over these layoffs. And the devs themselves are saying, "Why are you using us? It's not like we got not gonna be not gonna be finding a new job soon." This is sick that people are using this to say, to use this as a means of console war when people have gotten layoffs. And these are the same people that that say, "Be passionate about these layoffs." Yet they're using the layoffs to say this company is garbage. You got a dev right here, and there are multiple, and there are other devs right here that said, like, yo, we're not pissed off at, X, at Microsoft or Xbox for these decisions because we know it's a business move. We'll be just fine. We are, are going to find new jobs. People need to stop using these kinds of 
events to try to say this company bad stick stick with this company right this console one thing that people are using as pertaining to the layoffs these guys are disgusting right and they try to say like yo these individuals right here this is the evil evil uh corporation even though they are they are paying them compensation fees until they, they get back on their feet right devs out here they have got laid off say like yo we knew it was coming we just didn't think it was gonna be me and these certain individuals really believe that they are on the right side of the platform right and apparently the red dragon has hid her reply saying like yo i still like i still love xbox and i still love activision it's not like i'm, I'm not going to be finding a new job anytime soon right people are using layoffs for console war ammunition this is why gaming this is why i said in my power War video with, with the individuals were sending were allegedly sending death threats to the people at pocket pair they're using console wars as a means to try to get one over on a certain platform and make that platform look better right that's not how this works and people just up and believe this right the fact that people are using people getting laid off as a means to console warring is horrendous right now i may be a heartless bastard best believe i'm an asshole okay i'm an asshole but i'm not going to end up using somebody's layout to say this company is bad because whether it be gaming whether it be journalism even though journalism is pretty much dead media uh video game journalism even though video game journalism is also is also bad a lot of people are not really truthful to certain games whether it be for media or uh hollywood tv anime anything like that some people there's always going to be some individuals that be that try to use uh this certain event and say like yo this company is full-blown trash right people should not people like this should not be on the internet they're just trolls and, and they're trying to use it as a means of ammunition right it's not a good look like i said is this the end for for triple a gaming no there's more to, to gaming than just triple a gaming a lot of these devs like i said will probably make their own games independently it's possible people have done it multiple times it's possible there'll be successes there'll be failures it'll just keep you moving right but like i like i said um it's bad that these people got got laid off but it's quite obvious that the activision blizzard was hiring too many people they was overstaffed right three thousand devs for one game think about that real quick but guys that's all i got for this video man you guys like this this uh, video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, hit the notification bell. I will see you on the next one. Peace.